Hey guys, what's up? It's iJevin. How is everybody doing? I am back with another episode of iJevin Plays Minecraft. I hope you guys are all having a super day. I am doing fantastical. I just uh, just got up and I decided I was going to record some iJevin Plays Minecraft because it's so fun to play and we got our epic gold farm finished. So during the process of the epic gold farm, I lost two enchanted items. I lost my shovel and I lost my sword. And I'm not sure where they went, but we have got about a bajillion and a half levels. And so I am going to, uh, you know, do redo these enchantments right now. I've already got two swords in my inventory. I'm going to go ahead uh, and I will enchant both of these really quickly and see what we get. I don't even really care. Sharpness on breaking. That's actually pretty good. Uh, holy crap, look at this thing. Sharpness 4, Fire Aspect 2, Knockback 2, Fire Unbreaking 3. That right there is a winner, winner, chicken dinner. I think that I'm just going to repair that, and I think we're going to call that one Booyahs. There we go. That's a heck of a sword, man. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. Um... I'm too bad we don't have looting, but it's all good. Alright, so next up, I need to do a shovel, because I lost a shovel. Um, we should probably do, we'll try the first one, and if we, I don't want to craft another one unless I have to, but, uh, efficiency on breaking, I'll take it. Alright, uh, I don't have any books, do I? I don't think I do. Alright, well, I think I want to do a bow or two as well. Let me see if I have any string or anything like that. I have two pieces of string right here. Um... Yeah, I just want to do a bow because I, uh, I'm i sick of not having one, and it would just make fighting so much easier. Mob drops are here? I don't remember. <laughs> right here. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and make a couple bows and just see what we get from our bows here. Um, there we go. Four bows, and hopefully we get something decent out of these. <coughs> so, that... Uh, power and breaking. Power. Wow, really? <laughs> Unbreaking flame one. Power. Okay. Power four. That's not bad. Well, here. Let's see what we can get from the combinations of adding these together. Let's take that out of there. So this is power four. This is power four. Uh, that'll be a power five. Um... Power 5, Punch 2, Flame 1, Unbreaking 3. That's pretty much all I would really need, besides I needing Infinity, because I don't really have a lot of arrows. So let's combine that one, and we'll try to do another one really quickly and just get Infinity on it. I have uh, really bad luck when it comes to Infinity, though. Try one more here. I wish you could take enchantments off of uh, things like that, but you can't. Alright, so I'll put that up there. Put the rest of this up here as well. Um, do I have any arrows at all? I have 29 arrows. Like, I don't really want to use this bow. I kind of feel like it's a waste to use a bow if you don't have infinity on it. Because it's just like, what's the point, you know? So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get ready for the next part of this and I'll be back. Alright guys, so we're here to build the next part of our villa. Oh god. I did not know that was open. Oh my god, he could have died. That would have sucked, man. Anyways, we're here to build the next part of our village. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we like to go five blocks out from the center. That way we have plenty of room. And so our village is going to start right here. <laughs> yeah, that would have uh, that would have not been very good, actually. That would have been pretty bad. Uh, so I'm trying to think about how long this room is. I'm looking off this tiny little picture, trying to build this next village room. Um, this will be a little bit better. Let me see if I can get this thing. Here we go. Much better. I got a bigger picture now. So, um, let's see. We have our first wall here, and then there is an empty spot for the door. We are building the bookshelf room, by the way. And so then we have an empty spot, and then another empty spot. That looks like three. And then one, two, three, one, one. There we go. And so we need to fill all the bottom parts in. There we go. Um, let's go over to here. We need to go one, two, three. And then same with this side. One, two, three. Okay. 
And then let's grab some planks. And the plankage will go here, here, here. One, two, one, two. That's a little too far, actually. I went a little too far. <laughs> Oopsies. Right there. Because uh, there needs to be three spaces for the glass. And then this comes over to there. So that is the very first part of that. And then there will be glass panes there. All right, let's go ahead and do the side now. So the side um, comes over one wood, glass, wood. Hold on. Wood or... Yeah, wall, wood, glass, wood, wall. That's a pretty small room. I never thought it was that small, to be honest with you. Uh, a little too high. Okay, so that is too high. Then we have uh, three high wood, one over. There we go. And we need to do the same on the other side. So... Oh, that's wrong. Derp. <laughs> I'm so dumb. <laughs> okay. There. Go up. That's even. Okay. Go down. Need to put two there. And so we still need to make a bunch of glass panes. So here's, here's sort of the game plan with this, guys. Um... The back... Oh, man, I don't know the... I haven't seen the back of this. Uh, is this the back of it? No, that's that's the bigger picture. Uh, I'm assuming that the back is probably the same. Um, here, let's do this. Let's go into just a uh, creative super flat. There we go. We gotta go and look and do some investigations, guys. Here we go. Um, there we go. So I'm looking to build this one. Wait, did they change it? This? Oh, there's actually two glasses there. The picture I'm looking at doesn't have two rows of glass there. It only has one. <laughs> Alright, so we've got to change ours up a little bit here then. Other than that, we pretty much nailed it. Um... Yeah, we, we did a really good job, actually. The only thing we're missing is we've got to change this right here to two wide, and then it'll be done. Um, these ones are going to be hard to build. I'm just looking to see what other houses. We need to put some farms in soon, too, I think. All right, we got what we needed. Uh, let's go back and work on this. I'm, um, so the game plan here, I think, guys... Oh, wrong world. The, the game plan here is to do what we kind of did with the uh, old world that we had. Um... First off, let me go grab that bed really quickly. I think I want to build the village first. And I'm not trying to build the village in any specific order or any type of, like, uh, way. I actually just want it to be completely random. That way it actually looks like a city. Because what city has ever been so planned that there's just not random stuff everywhere, you know? I think that randomness will really kind of add to our village. Um, and I think the game plan of adding, like, one or two... Um, houses to it a day will really kind of add up over time. Uh, maybe some days we'll do more than one, but okay. So we got to get rid of this side, and we got to get rid of you. So two. Yeah, I, I didn't even notice that. The picture that I was looking at doesn't even show the two there. That must be a pretty old picture then. Um, that must have been when they were very first developing the villages then. There we go. And so, yeah, I think what we're going to do is, like, for stuff like Christmas and stuff, we'll come through the village and make sure that it looks okay. Uh, there we go. And so the back was actually really easy to make. It kind of is all centered. So we'll just go just like this. And we don't have to make this a bookshelf room. We can honestly make this whatever we want. Uh, but the little cafe idea, it does seem like a, good, a better idea. Uh, come up. Grab some more planks. Come over, just like so, and then I want to say there was a space there and a space there, 
just like so. Um, and then I think there was a full piece of wood over the top. Okay. All right, so now we need to do the roof of this. And so let's go up, make sure I have enough cobblestone on me. Uh, the roof was pretty easy. It was just like this simple little thing right like that. There we go. And I don't think I'm going to have enough stairs, though. Um... Oh, you know what? I did. I did this wrong here. I'm just. I'm. Uh, I'm looking at the picture, and we should probably refer back to our other world really quickly. Um, I'm looking at the picture, and I, I have a feeling like the picture is wrong. Uh, no, the picture isn't wrong. Okay, so it does go. This is the part that we were looking at right here. It does go up one and then over. All right, good deal. Good deal, sir. That'll be a little bit easier to build then. All right, so cobblestone. So it goes up one, up one, over, over, two. There we go. Do the same on the other side. There we go. Two. And then uh, we're definitely not going to have enough stairs. Oh, that's messed up. Let's fix that. No! I done felled. This does not look right for some reason. <laughs> what is wrong here? What did I do? There and there. There and there. There we go. I don't know what I was thinking. Alright, so the first one comes off the side just like so. Comes up there and meets in the middle. Do the same on this side. Crap. Go down towards the bottom. There we go. Okay, and then I just need to do that all the way across. All right, guys, so I am back. I uh, I got the roof finished. I put the floor inside, so all we would need to do now is just kind of fill this in. I'm pretty sure this thing is flat on the inside. Then we have a row of bookshelves coming across here and some stairs and some seating, and then we had a crafting table right there. Um, other than that, that's finished. So we have a little bit of awkward space here, and that's what we're going to start filling in with our sort of own contraptions and... Um, so, if you guys remember correctly, we made, like, uh, a farmer's market before, and I think I really want to do that again. Uh, so something probably like this. Uh, probably come down the row here uh, and line up with this building, just like so. Um, not sure if the base will be cobblestone or not. Um, probably not. Uh, we'll probably use more along the lines of fences and things like that. But I think for that space right there, since it's so close to that building, it'll look really good to have a little market there. Uh, as far as this right here goes, um, I don't know what I'm going to put right there. What should we put right there, guys? Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know what we should put in this area right here. Also, what should we use for the pathways? I really don't want to use gravel. Um, I want to use something that has stairs, and there really isn't many blocks that have stairs. I was thinking maybe brick. Brick would probably look pretty good, um, and there's brick stab slabs and stairs. So, uh, All right, let's go ahead and move on, guys. All right, guys, so the next part of this video, I want to work on our base a little bit more. Um, so one thing that we're probably going to need right away uh, for our village is a lot of different colored wool. We're going to be making farmers markets and things like that. Um, so I think that we're going to make a wool farm. So what I think I want to do is I want to make something that's automatic, but at the same time, I want to make it to where we get a lot, um, a lot of wool because um, one or two pieces of wool each harvest really probably won't do it. Um, so what I think I want to do is I want to make the full wool farm like we had in season two, where we share them, hit the button, the water collects it. But I think this time we're going to make the pens a little bit bigger and make it to where, um, you know, maybe three or four sheep get sheared this time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig, uh, this part out right here and we're going to put it right in the center here. Uh, once I have the room dug out, we'll start kind of planning everything. Okay, so I've got the base room finally dug out. That was a lot of work, but I think it was worth it because I think I, I really like the spacing of this. Um, so here's what I've got. Um, I decided to go with kind of the theme that we went out with out here. So as you come in, it kind of fades back in. Each wool 
uh, area will have a nine space of grass, these nine blocks. Um, so I was thinking that we could probably fit probably four to five sheep um, in each pen. We gotta be careful though, because we don't want the sheep to eat all the grass. So what we're gonna have, I'm considering doing it like, uh, like, like having like grass supply area, if that makes sense. So uh, we'll have lines of hoppers coming down the front row here to auto collect. In the back here, we'll have, it'll probably be on the bottom block, we'll have uh, water dis being dispensed out by uh, buckets of water and a button somewhere. We'll probably put the button like right here, maybe. Um, and I'm not sure, we'll probably have fences here. Not sure if I want to do fences yet or not. Um, as you know, we are using uh, uh, sprue or uh, birch. So I guess we could make birch fences. That does work out. Um, and so everything will collect down here. We're going to have two collection points. There'll be one right here and uh, one right there. And each one will fill up the chest. And so it's going to be all automated. The only thing we'll have to do is shear. Now, the only problem that I've, I've seen is that, well, I guess if we were standing right here, we would be able to reach back there. So I don't see that being an issue. Um, it's going to take me a while to get the sheep into the pen because I just started breeding sheep. I made a, uh, a little makeshift uh, farm out here. I'll go ahead and show you that really quickly. Um, the, I actually started breeding them, uh, the sheep and the cows in here. Uh, so we got a little farm going. Uh, nothing spectacular just yet. Um, I probably should breed again in just a second. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through and start kind of polishing the room. I haven't decided on how I'm going to do that, the, the sheep or the, the grass section yet. Um, I'm thinking about maybe doing it like, if you remember in season two, we had a mycelium farm, uh, where we just kind of fed it through the side here. I'm thinking about maybe putting like like source blocks of grass that will always spread or something like that. I'm not sure how I want to do that just yet. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start polishing that room up, guys. And once I get a little bit of progress, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I got as much done as I possibly could. Um, so here's the game plan. We've got the walls, which are stone brick, which you guys know that we're doing. Uh, I got all of those finished, which it really wasn't too hard because I started digging with stone, uh, my soap touch. And I just got as much stone as I possibly could. Uh, went ahead and installed the chests. I want to put some kind of feature down here. I'm just not sure what, though. Um, maybe you guys can come up with an idea for this wall. I'm not sure what I want to put right there, though. Uh, next up is the floor. Did our, our birch floor, as always, uh, continuing with our theme. Uh, did the birch uh, fences down the pathways. Then I put our 9x9 nine nine dirts in each uh, side. Uh, left spots for the hoppers to go in. Uh, so everything is looking good. So you're probably wondering, well, what about the back parts in there? Are we going to do red? Because uh, if you go up here to our themed area where we decided what our whole you know, situation was going to be, we had red back there. I'm actually going to make each one the color of the sheep. Um, so once we get a bunch of wool made up, um, we'll just dig all this out and put the color of the wool back in there. So each tunnel will be color themed and it's going to look pretty cool. Uh, so as far as stuff to do with this that's like left over that I still need to finish, I still need to get the droppers installed. Uh, or the, the dispensers, not the droppers. Which means I got to make a ton of bows. Uh, 16 bows, 16 droppers. Run all the redstone, put the button in for it. Uh, we're going to use a button rather than the lever because a button will be able to control the water easier. Um... Then once we have all the water installed, we'll install the hoppers, and then we'll test everything to make sure it works. Uh, and then lastly, we'll need to get these grassy areas. Now, what I'm thinking about doing is, um, I don't know, see, like, I was thinking about maybe putting some stone brick stairs back along where the dropper is going to sit. Um, and that would give me some grass underneath of it. And, I mean, it would only be two blocks in each one. Uh, we'll have to see what that looks like once we get there, I think. But this room is uh, its actually turned out really nicely. Uh, and I'm, ex I'm excited to see all the color <clears throat> and everything come to it once we get all the sheep and everything in here. Okay, folks, I think that is going to do it for today's episode of iChef and Plays Minecraft. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. I will be streaming tonight at 6.40 on Twitch. Uh, so if you want to stop by and watch some Mad Pack action, 
feel free to come in the chat, say hello, have some fun. I, I love live streaming. It's so much fun. I just, I love making content in general for you guys. I understand my channel is not the biggest and, you know, we're like, oh, we don't get millions of views every month. And you know what? That's fine. I don't really care. Um, I think that just, you know, having a place for you guys to come, uh, learn a little bit about Minecraft, uh, have some fun with people in the comment section, and just enjoy your time while you're here is more important than, you know, being like, well, I better sell out and do all kinds of videos with other people and get more money. I think that building a community sort of like, you know, from the ground up rather than, you know, somebody who's doing videos with like a zillion YouTuber, you know, <laughs> is uh, I think it's going to be better in the long run because if I were to stop doing those videos with those people, then my channel would probably die. I mean, my channel is already pretty dead as it is, but I think that... Uh, I think as long as I keep up the hard work, I'll be okay. I'm not too worried about it because, well, hard work always beats everything else. So, uh, like, like I said, guys, I hope you all have a fantastic day. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. This is iJevin. Peace out, guys.